I didn't come to the door looking for a new home yet. It appears I'm one of the gentry now. I wish I could have gotten through to him. I was, yeah. He was far gone, but don't worry. The past is there that we might learn from it. I'm sure we'll find more answers in the fight space. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. Well, yeah. Because I'm awesome, don't mm -hmm. you know? So we're going to go below, I guess. We're going to go we'll do at least one level, see if we can complete it. And then, maybe we can get, um, you know, what's her face? Uh, Azura to level 5 with, along with the rest of us. And then maybe we can take care of uh, Raidrick. You know, that jerk over there up north. in the other keep, or hold, as he calls this keep. Oh, wait, is there no more barrier here? I think there isn't. It's gone. Oh, damn. Okay. Serious business now. Here we are. Yes. I think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here, this is all adhering, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. Well, yeah, that's the whole idea, bro. Right? That great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Gabranos, a powerful mage and a dedicated scholar, a keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name, scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. They say you seem to be very impressed over this Grabranos. They say he held power over the elements, but I'm more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate everything, but I've seen enough to know he traveled far and wide. If we can only have met him, that what wisdom he could share. But we can follow his example and strive to learn from those around us and prove upon it. It does sound impressive. It'll seem arrogant now that I've sung his praises, but reading his text, it felt like I was looking through a mirror in some past version of myself. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? In any case, I'm no master of the elements. If my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's yeah, be man. Off. Oh, 780 experience. That's not negligible. Do we have anything here? Like, come on. Nope, there's just stairs down here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording and everybody's gonna eat and maybe, yeah, just eat. We're going to go for that single bonus for now, and uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have some fighting to do downstairs. And we return with our party sneaking. We uh, just came down the stairs here. And what does the flame reveal? And what does the flame reveal in I shall. So, uh, hmm, which way do we want to go, you think, guys? Didn't we? Yeah, we've been... Th no, we haven't been here. Oh. Okay, no, we haven't. Well, everybody's using ranged weapons, guys. No, use your ranged weapon. That's uh, what I want. Everybody. And, you know, just... Just say the word. Take that thing out. Yeah, because, you know... Aloth? Aloth, did you shoot your thing? No, you're about to shoot, right? Now uh, you start rewinding? Okay, perfect. Aloth, I want you to do something for me. And that is... Hmm. Huh, hmm, not that. I guess you just, you know, switch to this and How may I deal help? with this thing. 
Yeah, and then everybody can do this. And this should pose no problem at all. Let's see? Yes? It is done. Just take his stuff. And like what does the, the flame reveal? What does the flame reveal? Okay, oh. guys. And yes? Let's get this guy to take care of that trap. Shh. It's done. Don't tell anyone we're here. Indeed. Yes, okay, and oh. I'm here. Thing midging right here. What could it be? Oh, that's 120. Well, that's not huge, but yes. you know, it's not bad, too. So, um, hmm, what do you think, guys? Do I go this way or do I go that way? Meh, this is the, uh, you know, there's a lot more stuff this way, so we can just, you know, explore this little corner and then uh, go somewhere else. Let's quick save this stuff, because, you know, I'm sorry that you guys can hear when I'm scratching my beard and my face, but, you know, oh, I know. This is a pretty, uh,. Yeah, see, can already see that there's a bunch of peeps right here. So everybody stop, and yeah, only a couple of people have their meal bonuses. So uh, let's get all the bonuses in, you know. So uh, Edir doesn't have his meal bonus, so let's give him some. He doesn't have a meal bonus. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm just going to pause the recording while we're doing this. We're just going to feed everybody, give them a beer, give them a cookie, you know, and then, uh, yeah. So, hold on a sec. Okay, so we gave everybody a bunch of things, meals, cookies, hail, you know, plus two damage reduction, or all that stuff, um, to make uh, our impending fight with the people in this room a bit easier. I'll uh, just keep going. What's this? Oh, we're about to get detected. Where's Horus? Horus is way back there, so he's not going to put a trap here. Don't worry about that, Horus. It's cool. Uh, yeah, let's get everybody in position. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's get Aloth to make a uh, one of these things. That's 3.8 meter radius now. So that's almost 4. That's 2. That's 4. Yeah, right here. Um, let's get the priest to um, give us. Uh, oh, not yet. How many? Now he can. Damage reduction right here. Um, you can start attacking this dude. Like, seriously, all three of you attack this dude. Right? All three have ranged weapons, indeed. He's busy, he's busy, he's. Uh, well, needs to get here, actually. And yeah, this dude. Okay. And you can already switch to this. Super defensive because look at this stuff. You know, and you can switch to your, that. And you, girl, can switch to that. Hopefully, you can. Yeah. Okay. We got the web. That's great. Aloth, you get to cast your freezing thing. Is that 3.8? Yeah, that's 3.8. So, 2, 4. Is that it? About two, about four, yeah, about here. Yeah, that's really good. And um, one of those fireballs, yeah, that's good too. What's the 3.8? 3.8, there you go. And, oh, wait a minute. It's, this is dependent on accuracy, right? Yeah. So maybe instead he should drink a potion of, uh, he doesn't have any. Okay, so, uh, yeah, man, just uh, burn these things to a crisp about here. Two, four, yeah, about here. You know, that that tickles, right? That'll do some, some interesting effect. Okay, by the way, Horus, I need you to aim at the priest. Like, seriously, the priest... Priest. There's got to be a priest somewhere. Like, oh, there's already a priest. There you go. There's a champion here. Skirmisher, champion. Okay, priest. Priest right there. Priest. Talking about priests. You are going to give us a good blessing. And you, Alash. Uh, you know, I forget what you should do for it. Maybe this thing. Uh, what's the radius now? We have only one more of these. Jesus. Slicken right about here. Yeah. 
That's good. See, uh, somebody's got a good defense against Alof, who is, well, you know, he's paralyzed. So, that's there's a good reason why. Okay, he can't do rolling flank. What the hell? Where is, we're missing someone here. Where's this girl? What's she doing? Okay, okay, no, just come back here. Okay, we're going to switch her back to this. Come back here and attack the priest. Whatever. Okay, Alaf. We need one more of them fireballs is right here. Yeah. Oh, and you need to do consecrated. Right away. See, this is working out. Ow. See, that tickles pretty bad. Uh, he hasn't done his uh, consecrated ground yet, so... He's not paralyzed. Oh, he's prone for another 16 seconds. Jesus. Okay, you... Uh, that's just for enemies, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've got your three. Uh, you should do like that right here. And you... are going to use one of the, your three spells here for that. You... Uh, yeah, I could use one of those five here for that. And you, that's Alaf? Why, what are you doing there? No, Alaf, no, you don't need to be there at all, you're insane. You, Azur, go there. Come on, Azur, what are you doing? Uh, prone, okay, everybody's prone. He's prone, she's prone, Kana's prone. Is he prone? No, he's not prone. The priest is, oh, hey there, is prone. Damn, everybody been prone, yo. Come on. Unprone yourselves. Can you do your consecrated ground or are you gonna be prone till tomorrow? He's dazed now. Can you still do your thing, dude? Seriously. <sighs> yeah. This guy finally wakes up. Jesus. Fetid Crest. What is that? Interrupts. Uh, target plus. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh. Yeah, because, uh, what about Necrotic Lance? Yeah, he can do this. This is one target or another target with a uh, 1.78 meter around him. So which would be maybe this target. This dude. Oh, the High Priest. Well, there you go. Wizard. Yeah, Necrotic Lance against this dude. Oh, and Horus. Start targeting him. And uh, that's Horus. This is Aloth. Um, yeah, give him a featured caress too. That's got to tickle pretty good, right? This guy's been taken by it too. This guy, no. Okay, you've got your thing. You do your thing right here. Like we've got two of these. Did he cast two? Nah. Okay, well you got other things you can cast if uh, you have a mind to. Uh, Zark, champion, champion, skirmisher, skirmisher, what is this? That's a thing imaging. Skirmisher. Okay, those guys are not too bad. The priest is gone. Um, interdiction, yeah. This should be a sufficient. <laughs> See, he's, he's, he loves this shit. Kana, are you, like, attacking these guys? Like, it's a good idea to do so. I highly recommend And, what do you have? Nothing much, you can just keep shooting these fuckers. 